Okay, so for the next assignment, I'm going to uh, have you create a semantic or um, concept map or cognitive map of um, organic versus conventional farming. You'll find the corresponding uh, article, uh, which is a PDF file, in the content folder for this module. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use um, bubbles <coughs> or bubble us on, um, on the web. So you go to this site up here, right, and you'll have to create an account. So I'm already logged into mine, and I'm going to show you process-wise. If you do go to a help file here, it, uh, you know, if you go into getting started, you'll go through, and it's actually quite an explicit tutorial on use a system. System's really simple, so it's, um, it's not going to be a lot of stress to get through it. And if you go down to the bottom, there's hyperlinks down the bottom to to go to the several pages, okay, of the tutorial. So if I go to a new sheet here, um, so to insert, um, you press down the um, the command key on the keyboard and um, click, and there you go. You actually have the first bubble. So we'll call this one organic farming, and I'll do the same thing over here, and conventional farming and then I'm going to move those around so more or less they're even to make it pretty okay so down here right I can web off so this will make a brother node let me hover over that again so I create a new bubble um, down the bottom here creates a new child node so if you have a child underneath this heading this one creates kind of like a brother same level um, if you hover over the item, you see that you can recolor the uh, the material, right? So text color, you can change the text color. You can resize the text up and down. We can manually connect them. I show show you how we create one off in space, and then I'll connect it after. And then of course we can delete. Okay. So I'm actually going to create uh, several children child nodes off of here. Okay. So I've got a child note going off of this one, and then I'd start writing my content about the differences, similarities between conventional and organic farming, right? So probably a better way of doing that is I'm going to put, like, difference up here. And if I hold my uh, shift key down... I can select that node, right? I can copy that node and paste it again, so I actually kind of clone it. And I know these are both going to be differences, and they'll put similarities in the middle, right? So I'll create another node for similarities. Okay, and <clears throat> so I've got organic, I've, I've got organic, I've got conventional. All right, so then I can uh, type in here. Um, say use natural farming processes right if I want another node off here right I click off into space hover over the node and create another child child now appears um, no pesticide pesticides Okay, so you get the idea, right? You're mapping with the, the similarities and differences, right? Um, so what a similarity would be in this case, right, which I would drag in the middle. First, I'm going to move these down a little bit out of the way, right? And then I'm going to put a similarity here, all right? So I'm going to drop in a kind of dangling node off into space. And under here, I'm going to put... Um, crop fields are pretty much the same. Okay, so then to uh, connect it, right? So I'll click back on this node, click off in space. Okay, hovering over this one, connect, and drag the connect from there by clicking down and go to there. It's going to be connected to this one as well, right? So Hover over this one, select connect, drag it over the center there. Get it? So I've got my similarities here, 
and I'm going to have my differences that are going to branch off each side. That's pretty much what the program does. I mean, again, to do multiple select, right, we press the shift key down, and you can select several items, and then you can do the whole copy and paste thing, right? To save this thing, right, once we're, uh, once we're done, hit save, it'll save automatically, all right? So it updates automatically every um, five minutes, okay? But if you hit save, it's going to save right away, so you actually have a copy that's in place, doesn't get corrupted. So right now this program is limited compared to other programs uh, like Inspiration. Um, it, it's limited to the fact that you're just using these, these bubbles, right? You're actually just using bubbles rather than dropping in images as well. That's why Inspiration, you know, it, it's a leg up. You know, that's only a $70 license, but this is, of course, free. And as schools suffer with budget issues, you know, it becomes relevant. If I hit Export there, which is how you're going to save this assignment, you're going to export this out as a uh, JPEG image. So I hit export. And export away we go. And after you do that, you'll upload that to the Dropbox.